book is Frank. You piece of f***ing shit! Where the fuck is he? Tell me, where is Frank? Bring my f***ing nephew and that f***ing nitwit friend of his in. Don't say anything stupid, yeah? It's a dream work. Ah! Eric? Um, Mum's been asking how the wedding plans have been going. Ah! What? Did you get the jalebi she sent you? They were, uh, tasty. Yeah. She makes them the best, yeah? I love Jalebis. They're my favourite, uh... Fucking Jalebi, huh? Huh? Fucking Jalebi! Fucking Jalebi! Fucking Jalebi, huh? Jalebi! Fucking Jalebi, huh? Told you, let me. Where's uh, Frank? Um. 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 Ah. Um. 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 Ah. Um. 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 Do you like cricket, boys? Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Strap him up. I need another wicket. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, Tariq! Look, 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 you don't have to do this. He doesn't know nothing. I think he does. Look, I does swear my mum's lies. <sighs> Uncle, you're not listening. Look at this dump. Do you know the f***ing truth? Huh? We don't know where your shit is, yeah? We don't know where your money is and we don't know where Frank is. Honestly, Uncle, he doesn't know nothing. He's, look, he's thick, he's stupid. There's custard where brain should be, yeah? Well, we'll find out now, won't we? Oh. <laughs> look, honestly, Uncle, look, we, do, we don't know where your shit is, yeah? We don't know where your money is, and we don't know where Frank is. Just tell us! Tell us, Frank! Come! Tell us and we can go home! I wouldn't tell you if I had a kiss his f***ing throbbing gun! But then you'd be the front of the queue, wouldn't you? I'm f***ing... Just don't! Don't, Frank! I'm telling you, don't say that! I thought I wasn't supposed to talk! Don't piss it about with this and run! God, 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 it's no bitch, aren't you? And you're loving it! Mini knob! <laughs> Mini knob, I've told you about that! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Don't you f***er! Give us a week. We'll find Frank or we'll find the money. You're not back here in four days with my money. I'm gonna grind this so far up your crease. You'll be chewing coal on for breakfast. Mm -hmm.
we're going to do? How are we going to find Frank in four days? Well, it's going to take longer than that, innit? You are one dumb piece of shit, aren't you, Boxer? Why? Because it's flooded out of the canal. Well, that's what I mean. It could be anywhere. It could be in Liverpool by now. I swear, Boxer. What? Should have let my uncle bash your brains in. Is it this left or the next? Miss Moon, my name is Detective Inspector Helen Wilkes. I understand that you have got some new information concerning the Charles Sunday murders? Yes. I know where Donna Brown and Kevin Smart are buried. How can you possibly know where the bodies of those children are? Sunday told me. Tell Sunday died while you were sucking lollipops, love. Haven't they told you? I am a psychic medium inspector. Miss Moon, I suggest you leave before I charge you with wasting police time. But I can lead you to where they're buried. I can. We've spent years crawling over the life of that sick man. What could you possibly know that we don't? He cut off their fingers after they were dead, kept them in a shoebox. You found them, didn't you? Kept it from the families. Right there. Look, we're here to get information, not play happy families. You get me? Yeah. Now then. Great to see you, boxy lad. Come here. Oh, steady on, Box. I thought you were going in for a smacker. Oh, leave it out, Trish. You're like my mother. I'm nothing like your mother, darling. But I appreciate the sentiment. Go on through and stick kettle on. Move yourself, Taddy. Neighbours will think I'm having the 10 a.m. takeaway. Sorry about the bacon, Taddy. Look, I forgot. It's fine. Here, let me rust up a nice cheese and tomato toast. Eh? No, I'm not hungry, honestly. You should eat, lad. I do. You know what Frank always says, Box? Feed the body. Feed the mind. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned Frank, Trace. Uh, we, we wanted to ask. Does he ever bring anything home? What, like the clap? What do you mean? No, work stuff. Does he bring work stuff home? Mm -mm. No, but I wish he'd bring himself home. Lucy's missing him like mad. Oh, where is she? She's taken to her bed. She won't eat. She can't sleep. Oh, that's terrible. I've tried making her favourite dinners, taking her to get her nails done. Nothing. I'm sorry, Trace. She might come down in a minute if she hears your voice. Does he... I have a shed, Tracy. You know, lock up somewhere. Why don't you ask Frank? Oh, he's away on business for a few days. That's just to sort some out for him. I fancy a bicky with me, brew, lads. I won't be a sec. Stop f***ing around. Stop searching the house. What for? Keys, anything. Go on, f*** off. I'm just going to pop upstairs, Trace, and see Lucy. See if I can cheer her up a bit. All right, love. <coughs> 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 He's 
got a kind heart, has Boxy. Yeah, he does. I'm glad me and Frank took him under our wing. Yeah, it's kind of you. So does... I sometimes worry that folk take advantage of his simple nature. But then I remember he's got my Frank covered in his arsehole, so he's bound to be all right. He has got my Frank covered in his arsehole, and it's had a... Yeah, of course. Good. We just want to know if he keeps stuff around the house. Frank never talks about his work. Right. He never brings anything home. Are you sure? And he'd never go away without telling me. What the f***'s going on, Tariq? Find. Why the f did you have to bring Lucy? That's all I've got left now, thanks to you. Tracy and you, she, she, she would have told the cops. No way. But well, Ude, after he used his cricket bat on her a few times. Can we at least take Lucy out the boot? She's that crying and shit. <sighs> Missing mummy on that bollocks. That no way, not my car. Besides, you're the one who brought her along, it's your responsibility. If it was up to me, I'd just. No chance. No chance. Listen, Boxy, we've got to get out of the country. Bring your girlfriend, what's her name? Dawn. Dawn, yeah? Bring Dawn and leave. Got to take Fresh action. Radio News, our headlines this hour. Two bodies have been discovered on Bailden Moor. It's believed they're the Sunday school murder victims, Donna Brown and Kevin Smart. Police are being assisted in their search by a Bradford woman, Alice Moon, who controversially claims she can talk to the dead. In other news, a leading drugs charity is playing. You believe in all that? In what? Has breaking point. I didn't, didn't on believe in that. Services mounting. Life after death, spirits. When you die. No way. It's all bullshit. We're seeing a massive increase of drugs coming in straight from countries like Pakistan and Kevin Smart. Police are being assisted in their search by a Bradford woman, Alice Moon. of Kevin Smart and Donna Brown, victims of notorious child killer Charles Sunday. Oh, now, babe, get packing, babe, get packing. I'm working at a salon tomorrow, Box. You can get a salon job when when we get out there. Well, how long are we going for? 20 years. What? Look, we're going to live out there. It's no big deal. No big deal? No, we, we, we fly out and we buy a house. It's easy. What's happened, Boxy? Don't ask me what. I, I can't tell you, babe. Well, what about my friends and my mum? You don't even like your mum. Well, what about Tracy and Frank? What about Tarek? Look, don't worry about them. It's you and me that I care about. This is mental. Surely you can see that. Mental is when you've got a bloke who wants to stick a cricket bat up your arsehole. Look. I've got to get away from here, Dawn. I really want you to come with me.
500 years ago that have burnt you at the stake? I just want to do the right thing. Bring closure to the families. I'm not buying this mumbo-jumbo bullshit. Thanks for the lift. We'll be in touch. Assalamu alaikum, Mum. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, I'm just not doing anything. Just watching TV. Well, yeah, no, you didn't ask about the wedding. Yeah, uh huh. Now, not much is known about this Bradford woman, Alice Moon, other than we have a promotional flyer with a picture of her, which you should. Look, listen, can I, can I ring you back? I'm just a bit busy. What? No, yeah, yeah, you love to delay, but look, Mum, I gotta go. I'll ring you back later, yeah? Okay, alright, I love you, okay, love you, bye bye. Bye. Here on Bales and Moor is that a major police investigation is taking place as two bodies have been found, both believed to be those of Kevin Smart and Donna Brown, victims of notorious child killer Charles Sunday. Now, in a bizarre twist to this horrific crime, a lady named Alice Moon, who's a psychic medium and professes to be able to speak to the dead, has led police to this very Dawn! Have you seen me Night Rider DVDs? Yeah. Right, I've got an idea. Where's Lucy? I put her in... I put her in the shed. What the f*** are you doing in the shed? Yeah, but I can't tell Dawn where she's gonna. Right, listen, just go get a photo of her right now. A photo? Right, just get a f***ing done, I'll ring you back. Shifa is a very good girl. No one will make a big fucker with her baby. No one will make a big fucker with her. Uncle, my mind is a good girl. If you can't do both of us, then you are required to do it. It's difficult. I don't have any other relationship for my daughter. And you, I don't have any other relationship for my daughter. I don't have any other relationship for my daughter. But five million, this is very much. So, as it was, it was done. So, it will be your marriage. Okay, okay. My friend... 
ले के आएंगे पर मेरे बंदे एयरपोर्ट पर बंदोबस्त करने में दो या तीन दिन लग जाएंगे ठीक है आपने मुझे जुबान दी है कि हीरे जल्दी आ रहे हैं इस दौरान में आपने मेरी बेटी के लिए कोई और शादी नहीं मैं ढूंढ रहा ऑफ कोर्स उनको Chepaskis kuvesine za atake varenas. Simon Stratu kotasa podjas atako. Stras mi kurva za our money. Ebše prašam, še prašam. Šmej se stako kavao, co mi je povjedal. Ja, še ti rod pitek na bezlutne vispje. Celas butel kas vjero ga cucu na upis fale. I začo pirtolič, kako se repe, maupe. Kurva, co za kamal! Ne trebe vašo, kako se pirtolič! Mu vivem vam! Ej, sa vam mu vivem! With the Asians. So don't f with the Asians. This is never going to work. Shut the fuck up. Drugs have arrived. Fireworks in the sky. Everyone's, Everyone's getting, getting high. Police business. It's those trendy southern bastards from the end of the street, isn't it? I knew they were dodgy f***ers. Yes, it's them at the end of the street. Make sure you taser the twats. Yes, Mum, just get back inside. A.M. appointment. You're a bit early. I'm still in my pyjamas. Oh, bollocks to this! <laughs> Go on, then. Do whatever as you do, innit? You told them cops where to find them kids. The one that peed or killed. You do all this mysterious shit, don't you? I don't use a Ouija board. I told you this was a waste of time. Oh, shut up, man. So what, like, what do we do? I need your help. I need something personal from your beloved. Hey, we mates, that's all. Yeah, of, of course. It's just I need something that belonged to the dead person to make a connection. You got out. This is mine. 
Don't take it. He gave it to me. Well, you know, it might mysteriously end up in your pocket. What? Well, you're always taking my pens. Are you f***ing serious? I'll lend you a pen and you never give me back. You must have about 50 of my pens. Shut the f*** up. Sit down. Go on, then. We all need to join hands. Please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not holding his hand. There needs to be a circle. Take my hand and do as you're told. We wish to speak with the soul of... Uh, um, yeah, um, Frank. Frank Shaw. We wish to speak with the soul of Frank. Frank Shaw. You scouse bastard. <laughs> Boxing. Yeah, Yorkshire bastard. <laughs> Tarek. Hey, Trev, nice stereo. Did you nick it? Fucking hell, Boxy. Not all scousers nick stuff. <laughs> you do. Yeah. Here, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trevor, customers. How are you, love? Um, I've just got far too. I'll sub you. Till tomorrow, OK? That's weak shit, that is, Trevor. Thanks for the feedback, Tarek. Anyway, you anyway, start... Anyway, hand over the money. We have got all day. We've already got any left. What are you going about? Frank collected a couple of hours ago. What? Well, that's our job. Frank turned up, he said he was collecting this week. Big week and all, since the fireworks went up. Whoa, 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 boys, watch the wheels. You... Where is the money? I swear. I've just been on the blow, it's a falcon. Frank's been all round. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah, you did say him. He did say it was collected. We didn't say that to me. Well, you told me I forgot, innit? See you later, you scouse bastard. Yorkshire bastard. Bastard! Fucking knew it. He's making a play with that us. Playing what? It's told it, that's 10, 15 grand he's pocketed at least. Frank wouldn't do that. Frank's gonna do a run over the money. No way. But Frank's gonna take that cash and leave us to deal with my crazy uncle. But Frank's like me dad. And Tracy, they just wouldn't. It's our job to do the collections. You said so yourself. So who's Uday going to come looking for once the cash goes missing, eh? Look, all I'm saying is that we find Frank, we ask him what the f*** he's playing at. Surely you can see that box here. 
I suppose so. Good. See? Frank's not the only one who's got your back. And another thing, I've never called you a mini knob. Swear box of the shit we've been through, we're practically brothers. Brothers? Yeah. What, you and me? Yeah, because I'm the only one who's trying to save our skins, not Frank. Well, if we're brothers and all that. Get back in your box, Mystic Meg. Well, look who it is. Mr. Shiny Suit. A mini knob. Sounds like Frank. Frank? Take him off or this conversation's over. I'd almost forgotten how ugly you are, Boxer. Me and Tracy used to say your mother never gave birth to you. She shat you out like a slippery little turd. That is definitely Frank. Fuck you, Boxer. As if you haven't done enough. You drown me in that stinking canal. He puts a bullet in Tracy, and then the pair of you drag me back here like I'm your fucking puppet. You couldn't even let me rest in peace. Where's the money, Frank? Ah, this was your plan, was it, Tarek? <laughs> I might have known it had been yours. Well, well, you're just an amateur <laughs> in a shiny suit. That's disrespect for that is Frank. It's just kind of shiny. Oh, fuck off. The money! Where is it? You haven't thought this through, have you? How are you gonna make me tell you? Are you gonna shoot me? Cause here's the problem. I'm already dead. So f now the now. I always knew you were a fing snake. Look, Lucy's fine, Frank. I, I promise. You are one head on her head. What, what are you gonna do, Frank, eh? Haunt me! I love that bitch, Boxy. I, I know, I know you do, Frank. So, so please, just tell us where the money is. What's it like having tits? You should know, Boxy. You got a cracking pair there yourself. <laughs> Can I touch it? Cough. <laughs> you should have told us where money was. Yeah, I was gonna. But you drowned me before I had a chance, you big, dumb f***ing ape. Yeah, it's right, you know. What do you oh, mean? Fuck off, boxing. It's your right. idea. If it wasn't for you, yeah, we would have been the fucking shit now, wouldn't oh, we? It's all oh, my fault, is it? Never you want me to stop the it? fucking all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, Don't you. fuck yourselves over it. This being dead like it ain't too shabby. I tell you what, I get to go anywhere I want now. You wouldn't believe the things I've seen. 
Like what? Like what really goes on in bedrooms. Right, you see everything. Yeah, of course I do. But you don't watch, like, bummers doing it, do you? Oh, for f**k's sake, Boxy. Are you still obsessed with cock? Has he not tried it on with you yet, Tony? Oh, oh f**k off, <laughs> right. I've been taking it. Have you seen the oh, size of the f**k? Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> 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 uh, as if... As if... Two player with the blue gator. Yeah. She ain't trying to date a player. Driving the super blue, I slot pushing my hustle while your dreams sleeping. Before the boosters close, all that city fing street sleeping. Met the money set, trying to get bubbly. You wanted to know where money is? You bought a travel agent. Stop messing, Frank. I spent it on a cruise. You spent 15 grand on a cruise? You're lying. To be fair, it won't just any cruise. Well, where are you going? Where weren't we going? It was an around-the-world cruise. Cut the shit, Frank. Where's the money? Do you remember Tracy, Tarek? My beloved wife. Stage four lung cancer. Why didn't you say? Didn't want to worry your box. She'd always wanted to go on a cruise. The love boat, she called it. I kept saying I'd take it, but I was always too busy helping Uday get rich. I'm sorry, Frank. Well, go get the money. How am I supposed to do that? Sorry, boys. The fact is, we were flying out today. So it's gone? Yeah. So you might as well let Lucy go, and I can let this silly cow have her body back. Tari, what are you doing? Don't do anything stupid. when you're left alone. This is why you're f***ing amateurs. Getting your knickers in a twist about 15 grand. You should be thinking about where the 100 grand is. What are you on about? You thought, with me out the way, you'd be stepping into my shoes. Uday's never going to give you that. We both know it. He might be family, but he treats you like shit. What's this hundred grand then? Let me tell you how our friends in the Polish immigrant community do business. As you know, they are our main competitors for the drug trade in Bradford and its surrounding districts. So, how do they get their money back to the motherland? Each month, they collect cash from their various distributors. Which is then counted changed into large denomination notes. Taken to the 
the airport and handed over to a sympathetic airline professional. The catch is then flown to Krakow, where it lives happily ever after. Except for when you two get to it first. Robbie Yannick's mob will be suicide. Yeah, you're right, Tarek, but everybody knows that Yannick and Ude have a special business relationship. Yannick would have to assume that it was a couple of adventurous junkies on an outside job. I don't know, Frank. It sounds risky. When's it happen? I'm not sure. What the f***ing good is that, then? All right, calm down, Tarek. As I explained, I'm the all seeing eye these days. Just give me a few hours and I'll go and find out. We'll hop off then. I want a guarantee that Lucy gets a cut so I know she's comfortable. Deal. You swear it, Boxer, don't trust him. I swear, Frank. Lucy will get a cut. Good. <laughs> Please stop me. Don't hurt me, please. I swear I won't tell anyone. Please let me go. Frank bloody sure. It's just gonna get messy. This is all we need right now. Yeah. Another bloody gang war. Right. Where are you going? Time to rattle a few cages. Come on! to be the first victims of notorious serial killer Charles Sunday. I hope that f burns in hell. Go on then. Is there a hell? It's not like in the Bible. The spirits of the dead are all around us all the time. What, like now? And it were these spirits that told you where these kids were? Something like that. Tracy wants you to know it wasn't your fault. Boxy, you look like you've swallowed a bucket of cum. Frank? Tarek! What? The money's being moved tomorrow. In other news this morning. The one place we know he's got to go is the airport. Our courier always parks here, in this multi-storey. All taken with the airport car park. The exchange always takes place after hours, so it'll be quiet. Yeah, cameras. Just one on every level. We park near the entrance of the car park, follow him inside, and take him when he gets out of the car. Right. If he's carrying money, he's going to be carrying something else. No, it's, it's a gun. It's the barrel. The... He's at the airport. If he's carrying anything, he'll have to leave it in the car. Right. Now, Boxer, I need you to get some wheels. Something anonymous. 
Yeah, yeah, as long as I can drive it. What? You know, the getaway. You can drive the car, now. Are we set? This better work, Frank. You do as I say, and it will. Let's hope so, for Lucy's sake. No, Frank, 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 Frank. Lucy's fine. I took her some food on the way over. You can't leave her in that shed. Just give me five minutes with the box, please. Not until the job's done. Box, she needs me, please. Look, let's just have a game of poker. A bit like old times. I'm going to bed. You two can keep in here. Prick's probably forgotten how to play. He's missing that many card nights recently. I'll give you game box. Your deal. Aces on the flop. Nice. Call again. Flag it, box. How many times have I told you, look like a winner and the losers will fold? I've never been a winner, though, Frank. Each hand is a lesson, lad. In cards and in life. I never seem to learn, though. Well, that's f***ing true. Shoot. A few cards short of the deck. Split the f***ing left off behind, mate. Sot <laughs> off. <laughs> You're all right, Poxy. And that's coming from the man you murdered. It was an accident. I know. I want to fix it. Closest thing I've ever had to a family. We all made mistakes, son. Even me. Boxy's having nightmares. Sleep in the bathroom. You sleep all right, Tariq. Yeah. Like a baby. Inspector Wilkes. Welcome to the circus. To what do I owe this honour? Frank Shaw. We fished him out of the canal yesterday. And when we went to tell his poor wife the sad news, we found a bullet in her head. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? You're right. I know nothing about it at all. Very sad news. But uh, I don't understand why you're telling me. We thought you might be interested. 
given that he managed your drug operation across every white estate in the city. Okay, just, uh, please just hold that thought for one minute. Oh. Okay, good. Get up. So, <clears throat> where were we? Oh, yes, you said something about drugs. It's an awful thing, this uh, drugs business. I see on TV what it does to people. Families, women selling themselves to pay for their habit. Little orphans running around, stealing shit. Babies addicted at birth, with their faces all f***ed up. It's, it's awful. Awful. And I'm deeply uh, offended that you police always think I have something to do with this disgusting scourge on our society. It's because I'm Asian, isn't it? It's actually racist. I think your informants need to stop attending cling clocks clean. Meetings. Klu Klux Klan. Klu Klux Klan. Klu Klux Klan. Klu Klux. Clint. Klu Klux Klan. Klu Klux Klan. Okay. Thanks for your time. Any time. I'll see myself out. <clears throat> All out! I want the shit of a nephew and his fucking psychic back here in pieces! I thought you told him to steal some at Anonymous. So what are we supposed to be waiting for again? Like I said, he's driving a white Audi 4x4. Half the crims in Bradford drive white Audi 4x4s. But not every crim's parking it here tonight, are they? I'm dying for a piss. It's it, Boxy. Hold it in, Boxy lad. 
Oh, here we go. See, I told you. Just follow him. Tell it you take me in one box if I don't. Shut the f up and remember, quick and quiet. Quick and quiet. Quick and quiet. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ktoś próbuje próbować na zlotysku! Szybko! Chodźcie! Kębasta nie wiem. Robin bastards! Boxer for saving your ass, Flaps. 
Now we need to lie low, and I know just the place. What's this, Frank? Looks like a pink unicorn. It's not my fault you two f**ks couldn't rob candy from a baby. Don't ah! touch me! Stop! Who told you what anyway? What are you doing, Tariq? Here's my knife. What? You can't help yourself, can you? I knew you'd nick it. Well, a day away from ending up in the canal with no head and all you can think about is this knife. It's my knife. Actually, it's my knife. Look, Tarek. I've got an emergency stash. Let Boxy go and I'll take you to it. Stop lying, Frank. Hey, I'm old school. We're always taught to keep a stash hidden away. How much? Maybe enough to stop Uncle Uday from chopping your f***ing head off. If you're lying, Frank, I'm gonna gut Lucy in front of you. Don't you ever put a knife to my throat again. Have you got me, all Tariq? Right, box, all right. right. We're gonna go with Frank. He's gonna show us where the money is. And then we sorted. You know that I never hurt you, right? And another thing. Give me my fing knife! Oh, I want their families dead. I want their pets dead. I want the guy who delivers their online supermarket shopping dead, and I want those diamonds back here tonight. Do you understand me? Yes, boss. Now, I have it from a good source. That Yannick and his people were all over that car park, so we start with their car washes, yeah? Yes, boss. Yeah? Yes, boss. I told you to go straight on. Are you deaf as well as stupid? We're gonna go get Lucy. She stays in the boot of the car until we get the money. And if you're lying, Frank, I swear.
is it? Why don't you just put it on the moors like every f***er else? Here. Here? Under there. Have you got a shovel? It's in the car. Well then, Tannic. Off your trot. Do you remember Tyrone? Who? Hippy kid with long uh, speech impediment. Yeah, Tyrone, that's right. What with condoms? <laughs> <laughs> Swallowed a load of condoms full of smack. Yeah, went through customs and it exploded. <laughs> They're still cleaning shit off walls in Manchester Airport. Hey, Falcon said his eyes nearly bulged out of his head. How about that? <laughs> Shouldn't laugh, really. Oh, and who would he seen? That Chinese girl from Birkenshaw. <laughs> What do you used to call her? Loco, oh, oh no, no. proper <laughs> fucking character. <laughs> right, bad bastard. <laughs> Fuck you looking at. And guess who I've seen shagging? Oh. Wills and Kate. Oh, you am. Who day? And that weather girl off telly. Oh, hey, I knew it. I told him that. Yeah, Tannic. And you're done. They're at it all the fucking time. They're like rabbits. No way. Just think for once in your life, Boxy. Why hasn't he been coming to poker? He never used to miss a game. He said he got business. Yeah, yeah, he has got business. Shagging your dawn. No, I don't believe you, Frank. Look, 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 Frank, just stop, right? It's not honest, this. Dawn didn't seem that keen to go away with you, did she? No, I don't, I don't believe you. Let's find out. Why don't you ask him? Ask him what? It don't matter, just leave it, all right? I don't know what's he been saying. Do you want this money or not? Just get the shuffle. <laughs> Dig. What are you doing, man? Cock down skin daisy dick. Oh, you fucking dickhead, you just ruined my fucking suit. Fucking pay for it, man. What? Are you fucking my dawn? What, what, what's he been saying? That's bullshit, man. Are you shagging, Don? That's bollocks, man. Listen, that's bollocks. He sees things. He's seen you both, that's I'm it. Don't slept with your girlfriend, man. What are you on about? I'm gonna shoot you in the fing oh, face! Wait, wait, Boxy, wait! What my brothers, man? Oh yeah, that's right, Boxy. You two, you're practically brothers. Except when he's got a knife to your throat. Oh. And when Dawn's with him, she takes it up the ass. This is all your fault, you big fing stupid! <laughs> Please. You killed me. You murdered my wife and you kidnapped my Lucy. Imagine, Tarek, if you will, how I might be feeling. Forget the money from... This was never about the money. Sorry, please, I'm begging you, please. 
It wasn't me. Foxy killed you. He killed Tracy, not me. Oh, really? In that case. <laughs> God, that feels good. I'm sorry, Boxy lad. This was never part of the plan. I'll look out for you. On the other side. There's just one more thing, Alice, before you send me back. Please. Promise I'll make it worth your while. Lucy. Come here. Come on. Good girl. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Daddy's missed a special little girl. What's this? Have they been looking after you? Daddy's going to have to give you to somebody else to look after. Alice, you've got to promise me, you've got to swear that you'll take care of her. Swear it. Of course, Frank. Lucy will have a loving home for life. Now, it's time for you to go. Just give me five more minutes. Please. Goodbye, Frank. Inspector Wilkes, are the streets of Bradford safe? There is no official statement being released at Are the streets of Bradford safe? We need to know. I want to know the streets. There's no comment. No comment. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Out of the way, thank you. No comment to that question. Please answer us. No comment. We've got two more. Christ! No comment! As soon as we know something about whether West Yorkshire streets are safe or not from gun crime, we'll let you know. Back to the studio. Back to our main story this evening. A violent gang war has broken out on the streets of Bradford. Two men have been shot and killed in a shootout at a multi-story car park, and two further bodies have been discovered at a local cemetery. All the shootings are thought to be gang-related and part of a deadly struggle for control of the illegal drugs trade in West Yorkshire. With police resources stretched to breaking point and a rising tide of gun crime, 
We've been asking, are the streets of Bradford safe? It's a question our reporter Sophie Walker tried to put to the officer in charge of the investigation earlier today. No official statement has been made at this time. We need to know, are West Sophie, Yorkshire streets, no comment, comment, streets no safe? We need to know whether they're safe or not. Will you please, as you can see, there is no official comment from West Yorkshire Police, but as soon as we know something about whether West Yorkshire streets are safe or not from gun crime, we'll let you know. Back to the studio. Sorry, love. You can't afford me. <laughs> <laughs>